In this video, we'll have a look at invoicing within the app. So the first thing to check is, has this feature been enabled? So we click up here. Invoicing is, doesn't appear in the menu. So to enable it, we click on here. User, user types, user types, controls what is visible. And we edit this profile. And we turn on invoicing. So a couple of little things here. Um, a really useful feature if you switch on invoicing is also to switch on track payments. So that way you can check who's paid you and you can see easily who hasn't paid you, more important. Um, you can also enable credit notes. A lot of small businesses don't use credit notes, but you can enable that if you want. Um, and then we also have this concept of a cash sale. So just to explain what that is, normally you would send out an invoice and you get paid later, but if both transactions happen at the same time, then that's normally referred to as a cash sale. Um, so an example of that is if you had an art gallery and someone came in and just bought a painting and he paid you there and then. So both transactions would be happening at the same time. Okay, but for now, in this example, we'll just leave invoicing and track payments. We'll focus on those two. Um, another little tip is there's if you're using invoicing and expenses, there's a really powerful feature called the dashboard. And that summarizes all of your financial information. So it's really powerful. And if you want to see that screen, to have that as your default screen when you log in, you can just select whichever home screen you want up here. And that's what appears when you log in. So I'm going to enable dashboard and I'll have that as my home screen. So I click on save. Okay, so I can now click on the dashboard. And you can see this is a really powerful screen. So it summarizes all of your invoicing by month, all of your expenses. Uh, it's also got a couple of nice features. It shows you the year to date figure. Okay, that's both for invoicing and expenses. It also gives you your monthly average. And then it uses the monthly average to predict for the remaining months. And it gives you a forecast. Okay, uses really simple maths to give you a forecast of what it thinks you're going to do this year. The same with your costs and the same with your profitability. And there's other ways of looking at this. Um, there's a little uh, quick report, which is you'll find this everywhere in the app. And if you click on it, it'll take that information and put it into a graphical. We'll do some graphical analysis. Show, shows you all of your sales, your expenses, your profits. Yeah. And um, also you can get a breakdown of your individual costs in here. This is, I find this really useful because you can easily see if you've missed out uh, on a potential invoice um, or a, um, an expense. So click back. Okay, so let's focus now on invoicing. So there's different ways. You can just click on here to do an invoice. Um, you can also, look at all of your invoices here, um, or you can go in and look at invoices against a contact. Now, normally when I do invoicing, I like to do it against a contact. Um, so I've got my contact here, click on it, and I can see, once again, I can see all the documents, I can see all the notes, I can see any reminders, I can see any estimates, but I can also see here all the invoices that I've raised for this contact. So to go into this, just click on the invoice at the bottom and I can now add an invoice. So I click on add and before I type anything, before I do anything, I just want to explain um, how this helps you and how it speeds stuff up. So it automatically puts in the invoice date as today. It inputs when it thinks this should be paid on the, on the 2nd of August. It automatically puts in the customer because we were viewing that particular contact when we clicked on the invoice section. We could type in the amount. It automatically pulls through the terms and conditions and the notes. If you want to update these, then you just go in here, system settings, system defaults. Okay, but we'll just put that away for now. Um, yeah, and so to create an invoice, all I've got to do is type in a demo invoice type in the amount and that can be dollars or whatever currency you've set up in your system and we just do save so I've just typed in one two two pieces of information click save 
preview the invoice. And there we go. So it automatically puts in all the customer details and it gives you a really professional invoice. And uh, loads your logo and then you can just print it out. Alternatively, um, you can finalize the invoice and then just press another button and email it to the customer. So let's talk about finalizing the invoice. Um, normally in accounting solutions um, or any invoicing solution, you might uh, want to start work on an invoice, but you might need to go off and answer a phone call or do an email uh, and you might get distracted. So you can leave your invoices here and they appear as draft. And that means you can edit them and you can update them and change them. Um, but once you press on finalize an invoice, um, it'll then give it an invoice number. And every invoice has to have a unique number. Because an invoice is like a mini contract between you and your customer. It's saying, I've, I'm making a demand of money from you and for services or goods or whatever, and they really should, should, should pay you. Okay? And this is really important, especially when it comes to the year end um, and doing an audit. Now, there are other things you can do, for example, credit notes if there's disagreements and so on. So that's the invoice number. The other nice feature in here is I showed you how easy it was to create an invoice. So just entered in two pieces of information, but maybe the customers come back and said, I would like a more detailed breakdown of this invoice. So you can click on edit, go into detailed line items, and you can now add in a breakdown. So maybe once again, if you're a decorator, I, um, I prepared the surfaces and uh, charge 150 for that and then I applied two coats of paint okay and maybe add some materials in here as well so this time it was an expense and this is for paint and materials Click save. So if I now just click, so I've got three detailed line items. If I click on back, you can see that it's totaled up uh, the sum of all of the detailed line items. And if I click on save and I preview, you can see that the invoice now looks a little bit more sophisticated. Um, you can see the summary up here, uh, demo invoice, and you can see the detailed line items. Okay, so the final thing we should talk about is you can also switch on the sales tax. Uh, once again, you do that in the system uh, defaults and uh, you can input all the rates and that would be automatically calculated as you build out the invoice. But in this example, I'm just keeping it as simple as possible. Once again, you can print it, you can download it. Um, and But if you've got a finalized invoice, so if I just go to one that we've created um, earlier. Uh, let me see if I go to all. Uh, let me see, oh, I'm looking at Adrian. We haven't done any invoices for Adrian. But if I go back out and I go into this off the menu, this is now showing me all of the invoices, okay? So I've got Brian Smith, it's automatically applied an invoice number and so on, so that's finalized. So I could view the PDF document or I could just press email the invoice and just send it off straight away. So if, if I'd finalized that draft invoice with one click, it's automatically gone to the customer, which is quite powerful. So let's go back now and look at the dashboard. Um, once again, very powerful um, and a, the, there's some nice features. So if I'm looking at a particular month, there's a concept called drill through. So if I want to drill in and see the detail behind this, um, if I'm looking at the invoices, it'll automatically take me into the invoice section and apply the date filter for July. Okay, so I can now see remove system. I can see draft invoice appearing here. This is the invoice I've just created. So that's um, really powerful. Okay, um, so um, it's, 
invoicing, you can generate an invoice in, um, I think, less than 30 seconds. Um, it's very powerful. You can look at previous financial years, um, scroll forward and back. Um, this gives you a great summary of everything. And once again, if we just click on the invoicing section here, just to explain what these um, filters are, you can quickly see all of the invoices here, all the invoices that you've created that haven't been paid. So these are all the finalized invoices that haven't been paid. And if you click on overdue, these are all the invoices that have been finalized, haven't been paid, but should have been paid. So they're quite old. And then you can have a look at all the invoices as well. And once again, you've got this really nice feature at the bottom of being able to click and it'll automatically use whatever you're filtered on and it'll generate a really nice report for you. Okay. And you can change all of the date filters. So now looking at all of this PDF report. Yeah. And if you wanted to dump all that information out into Excel, you just click on here. So it's um, it's really simple. You can use it and in a really simple way, uh, but there's a lot of advanced things that you can use uh, in it as well. And if we just have a look very briefly in the system defaults, um, you can see under the invoice section, you can see all the settings that you can update. So for example, when you press the email button, it'll put this into the subject. So it'll put in the, the real company name and the invoice number and it'll say dear Mr. Smith or whatever and it'll uh, once again you can update this text and then yours sincerely and it'll put in all of your details at the bottom of the email as well. Um, you can also input your bank details down here and you can also input your default terms up here. Now the other thing you can do which is really nice is configure electronic payments. So if you click on here and click on edit um, and you enable this you can actually set up or you, if you've already got a Stripe account you can connect it uh, to Stripe or you can set up your own Stripe account and what this will do is it'll create a little blue button uh, on your invoices that you send to your customer and they can click on it and they can input the credit card details and the money will go straight into your bank account via Stripe um, so once again Stripe are regulated to manage um, payment cards and stuff and they they do all of that for you um okay so that's invoicing so you can have it simple or it can be advanced um i think the other final thing i should mention is that there are four different ways to do invoicing um you can do an invoice against an individual against a contact the other thing that's really nice is if you go into uh, an estimate and you click on here, you can actually create, uh, you can flip an estimate uh, into an invoice. So you can click on here, click add, and it automatically types in all the data for you, uh, including the detail line items if there were any. Um, the other one to mention is if you were using project management, you can raise invoices against a project. If you're using timesheets and expenses, it'll automatically build the invoice uh, based on the timesheets and expenses entered, and um, it'll flag those timesheets and expenses with that invoice number, which means you've an audit back to the detail that uh, made up the invoice. It also means that um, there's no risk of those expenses or timesheets ever being double billed uh, or double counted in different invoices. So, so once again, the invoicing can be as simple as you like or it can be really, really sophisticated. Um, I think these three things which we mentioned earlier, you can have notes, documents or appointments against a contact, against an estimate, against an invoice. That's really useful. For example, if someone hasn't paid an invoice, then you can add in a note against it. Um, and you can also input an appointment to chase an invoice or to chase an estimate as well. So some really powerful stuff. Uh, once again, if we just click on this, you can see underneath the estimate, you get these three little widgets as well. 
Good. Okay, so that's invoicing, and um, we'll catch you in the next tutorial. Cheers.